Hi friend, good Monday morning. I hope your weekend was fruitful. As Christian leaders, it's imperative that we build our lives on a firm foundation, for the enemy likes nothing better than to topple us. You see, as a leader for God's kingdom, you are fighting against the kingdom of this world and others are following your lead. As you shake the foundations of this world, the enemy will wage war against you, so it's imperative that you're able to stand on a firm foundation. The journey of Christian leadership is the process of maturing in Christ by dying to self. It's repeated surrender resulting in a foundation that trusts God more than self. See, this type of foundation is the foundation that Jesus was talking about in Matthew chapter 7 when he talked about the wise and foolish builders. Now in some translations, in Matthew chapter 7, when it says the word rock, it actually says the word bedrock. In geology, bedrock is the hard or lithified rock that lies under the loose, softer material at the surface of the earth. Lithification is the process in which sediments compact under pressure and gradually become solid rock. The pressure is what causes the bedrock to form, but it doesn't happen immediately. It's a gradual process. Last Christmas, one of my dearest friends gave me a priceless gift. She showed up at my house and she asked me to come to the front step where she sat down and she handed me a bag. It contained 12 rocks that she had personally fished out of a stream while on vacation in Georgia. The rocks varied in size, but they fit together beautifully in a small circular pile. As I pulled them out, she showed me that on the bottom of each of the stones, she had written things that she had observed me surrender to God throughout the years. As I revisited my life through her eyes, I began to weep tears of joy as I remembered the things that she recounted. See, some of the things that she had noticed in my life, I had forgotten. But seeing them on the rocks made me remember God's faithfulness all the more. She left a couple of the rocks blank for me to fill in when I experienced new things that I learned to surrender. She then took her hands and she began to dig at the dirt at the mulch near my front door, clearing a space to pile the rocks in a small altar of surrender. It was one of the most amazing gifts that I've ever received for every time that I enter or leave my door, I'm reminded of God's plan and process in my life. That small altar of stones is the bedrock of my faith. Through the most difficult times, God has proven his faithfulness over and over. And because of his consistent faithfulness, I can trust him and obey him in the storms today. What about you? Where has God proven himself in the storms of your life? If you had to write down your times of surrender on memorial stones, what would be the story of your bedrock?